Hey YouTube, it's Darkhunter2121, and today I have my annual Christmas haul. And this was a pretty good turnout this year. You'll see towards the end, the bigger things I got was actually really good. Um, okay, starting off with an assortment of fireworks that were in my stocking. If you know me, I love my fireworks. Like, any, any time of the year I could go out and just light some off if I have them available. An assortment of fireworks, you got the classic poppets, sparkler, sparklers, and then some mortar type ones. Push that over there. And next, I have an AMC gift card. And I might actually go see Rogue One again, because that was just a really good movie. And I'm going to see if I can't bring my mom with me to go see that. Next, I have a subscription, three-month subscription for PlayStation Plus. So I can play, like, online with Call of Duty and some other games. And they just, actually, they just raised the prices to, like, $30 for three months. But this, I was, whenever we were in our, in Walmart, I brought this to my mom's attention because it was the $17.99 one. And it was, like, before the price increase. So that's, that's good all around. For that and next I got my second favorite candy the Ferrer Rocher's um, my first is probably gonna is probably sweet Swedish fish Ferrer Rocher's and um, Twizzlers next I got this cool like pocket-sized lightsaber and it actually lights up and you can put it on like your pocket or your backpack or whatever you have on you. You could just carry this on and it's collapsible, which is pretty cool. Now, time for the big, big ones. Now, originally this next one I bought myself, but then I ended up getting the money that I would have spent on it back. So it ended up being a Christmas gift, which is awesome because I didn't expect it. The whole the whole situation. So I got Watch Dogs 2 for the PlayStation 4. And I saw this at um, Target, right? And it was $39.99. And everywhere else it was like $65. And normally I don't buy video games. Like, I don't... I only have like maybe four or five... Actually, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe seven PlayStation 4 games. And this is one of those seven. <coughs> Next, I got this game I was I saw on the Nerd Cave podcast, and I liked the story, and I followed along with the whole um, series, the Let's Play series that they did. And I already I got it from Redbox, and I tried it out on my PlayStation. And a year later, I actually now is was it, like this was like last year, but now I finally got the game. And it's Until Dawn. I, this game is really cool because um, the way you play the game is it's all based on your decisions. And whoever like dies in the game. It's kind of like a horror game, but um, it's based on your decisions and how you play the game. Now the next thing, I'm a 90s kid. <laughs> stating off, um, I'm a 90s kid. So I was like, this series of movies is something that like really really uh it's pretty much my childhood here and I was surprised I didn't already have this in my blu-ray collection and it is the complete Toy Story collection on blu-ray it has all three movies and it's just I was I was really surprised I didn't already have this and it's actually a really nice set. It has Buzz, Woody, and L Lotso. And it has all the descriptions of the movies and everything on the back. This is like an import, like a UK import, but it still works on my Blu-ray player. I already tested it out. And I actually watched Toy Story 3 as soon as I got it. So, I got... Yeah, the Toy Story 1 cover, Toy Story 2 cover, 
and Toy Story 3. And Toy Story 1 actually came out the year I was born, so I kind of grew up with like this whole this whole um, series. Other than that, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And also check out the mystery video and previous video on the side of this end slate. I also got my email and my Facebook pages up here. And as always, don't forget to check out for more videos on the Dark Hunter 2121 channel.